The purpose of this video is to show a comparison between a conventional toroid ballon and the linear ferrite ballon that uh, I've seen on the other video that I've got on YouTube. So as with the other sweep, we're st starting at 1 megahertz, where you can see that the ballon is not working very well at all. There's a, a very large phase imbalance. So we're going to start at 1 megahertz, which is the same frequency we started with the linear ferrite ballon. And going to start sweeping through now. So we're going up to five, uh, 10 megahertz. And you can see that the phase and amplitude balance is much better than it was at 1 megahertz. So this balance is definitely working. That's good. Go down to 5 megahertz, which is where the other balance started performing pretty well. And just looking at this in the time domain, you can see that the the balance isn't that wonderful. So let's have a look at the XY plot. And this is also can be seen in the vector diagram where the loop indicates that there's a, a phase imbalance. So let's increase the frequency to 10 megahertz and see what changed there. And at 10 megahertz the loop is smaller but still not as good as can be seen on the linear ferrite balance. So let's just start sweeping the frequency. Definitely an improvement there. So now it's acting like a balance should be acting the angle of that line is at 45 degrees. I'm now sweeping up to 70, 80 megahertz. So that's behaving as you'd expect. We're now at 100 megahertz and the amplitude is starting to go down a little bit. Undoubtedly because of the frequency roll off of the oscilloscope. We're up to 125 megahertz and there's a bit of a loop starting to form there so it's not working quite as well as it was at lower frequencies. Uh, 150 megahertz up to 190 megahertz. I'm going to increase the level a little bit so that we've got something to look at. Now, can't be 100% sure whether that is a combination or because of uh, issues with the oscilloscope struggling at this sort of frequency we saw that in the, the last video or if there's partly due to some imbalance in the ballon but it's still still working so we're up to 220 megahertz 250 megahertz right, so we're well past the advertised frequency bandwidth of the oscilloscope so we're up to now 290 megahertz. I'm going to increase the level again. Alright, so there's quite a significant loop now. So the ballon is definitely struggling at this sort of frequency range. The, the linear ferrite ballon wasn't. It was still a straight line. And that phase imbalance is deteriorating. It's getting worse as we get up. 350 megahertz. It's definitely not acting as a ballon anymore. 400 megahertz. All right, so I think it would be safe to say that about 300 megahertz is the, the limit, or getting close to the limit for this ballon. Does not perform as well as the linear ferrite ballon. The linear ferrite ballon, we went up to 500 megahertz and it was still uh, acting as a ballon. And at the moment we're on 400 megahertz and this is definitely not a ballon. So this is evidence that the linear ferrite ballon performs better than a conventional ballon. And the difference is that the conventional ballon has uh, interwinding capacitance, which uh, adds to the unwanted phase shift and the imbalance on the output. So the linear ferrite ballon is definitely a better performer than the conventional toroidal coil ballon. It has a lower frequency cutoff 
and it also performs much better at higher frequencies.